When I was doing my research into our next Golden Apple Award winner, I came across a quote that at first seemed funny, but then it made a lot of sense. It goes like this, if at first you don't succeed, try doing it the way your ag teacher instructed. Well, to some, this might make you laugh, but once you get to know the ag teacher at Oblong High School in Oblong, Illinois, then it all seems to fit. Today's Golden Apple Award winner teaches much more than cows, plows, and sows. He teaches our teenagers confidence, camaraderie, and community service. I'm Patrice Dayton from News 10, and it is an honor to present to you a 2020 Golden Apple Award. Thank you. When you walk inside Oblong High School in Oblong, Illinois, you'll find what many call a fixture in the building. We are going to learn today just a little bit about annuals and perennials. Ag teacher Carrie Travis has been teaching for the last 29 years, every single one of those years here. A mainstay in the small community, literally teaching generations. It's different than maybe English or math. You might have them a semester or a full year, but then they're gone. A lot of times when I get students in, an ag, in ag classes, they're going to be there for all four years. Oblong High is a small school, only about 175 students, but each year about half of the student population takes at least one of Travis's classes. He says very few of the kids come from a family farm, but the kids enjoy hands-on learning. They do things in the shop or the greenhouse. Travis takes them on field trips to different businesses and farm machinery shows, and he teaches them about commodities on the Chicago Board of Trade. How many bushels is in a contract of beans on the Board of Trade. Learning lifelong lessons like career building, resume writing, and interviewing skills. It's just not, definitely not cows, sows, and plows anymore. It is um, so much more than that with the leadership and the public speaking and everything else, computers, and um, we just started a job interview. There's so many more, so much more out there that meets the eye of what agriculture or ag education used to be than what it is now. In, you know, I don't care if you come from a farming area or an area that's more urban, agriculture and egg education is still so very, very important. So today you're going to learn a little bit more about the FFA jacket. Travis is also the school's FFA advisor, an organization he says teaches his kids leadership, work ethic, and community service. Carrie Travis has been described as having a heart for serving others. He's well known in the small community for digging in and helping out. Groups call me all the time and just saying, hey, can I have, just like last week, we were putting up American flags. Can you have four people ready to go tomorrow to put flags up on the telephone poles for Labor Day? Or can you have 20 kids out tomorrow, you know, putting up Christmas lights at the park? But perhaps this teacher is more known for his love of laughter. When I asked him what he wanted students to remember about him, he had this to say. I love to be funny and cut up, and I just think that's important every day. Even if you're not making people laugh, you should laugh at yourself. Especially in today's world, as crazy as it is and not so funny, I think it's important that you're having fun in life. Carrie Travis says teaching, like ministry, is a calling. He believes educators are called into their profession to make a difference in the lives of young people. This educator has been making a difference for nearly three decades. A Golden Apple Award winner, shaping the lives of young people for generations. Tomorrow, our final winner takes us back to Terre Haute. With photojournalist Tony Casasilla, I'm Patrice Dayton.